Hello and welcome to, again, um, one of the wonderful SAP community calls virtual tour today with our SAP champion, Michelle Crapo. Um, hi, Michelle. Great hi. that you're holding the session today. Um, and we are curious what we are going to learn from you and uh, you're going to share your experience about um, what SAP community can do for you or what did SAP community did for you or still doing for you and what <laughs> can it uh, do for other people, right, with your recommendations. <laughs> um, before we start, um, I would like to ask everyone to um, type in your people profile into the chat so that we can follow each other and we can DM each other and um, we can build our community fan base. Um, and also, um, just to let you know, you can be on camera, you don't have to be on camera. Um, later, we are going to have an open Q&A. You can speak up, you can also use the chat here. Um, Michelle, I don't know how you want to handle it. Um, questions in between or do you want to have the questions at the end? I always do questions in between, but if you want to save them for the end, that's fine too. Yeah, so just raise raise your hand or speak up in between. You can unmute your phone, all attendees. Um, um, but if you're not speaking, please unmute your phone. If you hover um, down or up, <laughs> there is coming a menu bar with the chat. Um, you can also see um, who's participating. And um, yeah, it would be nice um, if you if you give a feedback after that session to Michelle and to us how you liked it. And now handing over to Michelle. Hi everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm wondering how many people it's good morning for. Um, but anyways, I am going to go over what is going on in the community. And we've talked so much about what people should, can, will be doing for the community. I thought it was time to kind of go through what it can do for you and what it has done for me. So the agenda, this is a loose agenda. So if you have questions or you want to change things up, that's cool too. I figured what I'd start with um, was when I start a project, I go research which what possibilities are out there, you know, can it really be done? And the best place for that is, of course, here. Um, then I go through project estimates and, oh my gosh, these people ask for blood if you're not close on your estimates. So um, again, great place to start is here and um, it will give you an idea later on how I work through that. Um, development options, of course, training, and then I added a few of my favorite places. Now, this is probably the only slide you're going to see from my slide deck. Um, I've got several, and I will share them with you in my blog, but right now I'm going to go over and demo. Oops. So the first thing I do is I usually start with Google. Why? Because it's the easiest route to go. Um, so one of my projects might be something like, can you start a sales order approval? So um, then I just type in SAP sales order approval process. Um, and I've got a help, which I don't, I can use help sometimes, but I usually go there more when I know what I'm gonna do. Um, my very next one is a level approval workflow. And that sounds like it's going to work for me. I quick do a look at the date and notice that it's one of the newer ones. It's for 2020. And I always do that. Um, basically, because I want to try and stay with the newer technology. So I go into the blogs. And I'm I'll kind of, I'll spend more time than this looking through it, but I'll look through it and notice that it is in fact an approval workflow. Um, here are some triggers 
and some different screenshots. And this is a really cool blog. It's going to go into a step-by-step -step type thing. So I'm pretty excited about this. I'm like, yep, this one's for me. But then I go up and always look to the side of your screen. That's something I learned really quick when they put all this cool new stuff out there. Um, is you've got the assigned tags that were assigned for this blog. You also have related blog posts. And um, this is really nice because once you get here, you can go from different blog to different blog. And yes, I rely on blogs a lot. The other thing I rely on is project information that's here. So um, this one, it says, I can create a flexible workflow. So that's kind of cool. So I click on that. It takes me to the next blog. And again, a step by step, this is how you do it. And if I go back up and look at it, it's from 2019, so it's not too old. It's something I probably will be able to use. Now, if you look again to the side, you're going to see more related blog posts. You're going to see questions. There is such a wealth of information out there about this. So now I have the idea in my head that, okay, maybe a workflow is going to work for me. And if it does, then... Um, how am I going to present it? How am I going to show people what it does? So perhaps I would want to um, find out more information from the community itself. And at this point, I do a search. So um, I'm going to search for workflow screens. And I haven't done this one yet. <laughs> um, for SD approval. And the search is running. Well, this actually surprises me. It came up with a newer one um, in 2020. So it's showing me based upon what I typed in, here are some of the things that are like it. And actually this has gotten really good over the years. Um, but one of the things I usually do is I switch to last updated. Again, because I want the most current things. And you'll see that even though I did that, there's still quite a bit of information that is very relative. So um, if I look in here, okay. okay, I can see exactly this is now um, some more information on how to use it with Fiori. So I've got a couple a couple of good ideas. I can use it with Fiori. I can use it um, with a straight old-fashioned workflow. Um, I happen to know that my system, most of the people, even though they have Fiori, they run the old transactions. So most likely this new version will not work for me, but you know, it's worth taking some time and looking into. Now, I fast forward through my requirements, through what I'm going to look for. And now I'm going to go, and this is the reason why I keep this up, to keep me um, honest. Google. Mm -hmm. So now um, I'm going to look for some options and estimates. So I've got so many things. I'm going to go ahead and to the end of this. Okay. So the thing I do is um, these links are for you too. I've also, they're bookmarked for me, but um, I've got a lot of things bookmarked and I didn't want to try and go through each of them <laughs> to figure out where my stuff was. Okay. What am I doing? No. That's not what I wanted. And here we go. This is the one I want. 
So the first place I'd start would probably be um, the apps library. And this is awesome because it has a lot of things that are out there that I can search for. So I like going SD workflow. Okay, so I didn't find anything for that. How about sales? Nope. Okay. So if, if there was something out there, it would bring it out and show it to me. And then I could actually get the actual screens that they may or may not want. Um, after all that, I usually, and this is why I didn't want to go here. <laughs> I usually put all the information I have into my bookmarks. And I go and I can go there for later. So I already did all my research so I can go back through my my bookmarks and look and get a pretty good estimate. But what's also there is and I go here a lot. Is um, hmm. that not change? It's the developers area. So what I have here when I get to the developers area of, and this is still the SAP Community Network, I just have a, a link to it so it's easier to get to. I can see some of the products that are out there and um, based upon what I have, I can click on HANA. And it gives you a general overview for something you, you may or may not know about. Um, what I really love here is the tutorial. So say I've looked at something, I know I want to be able to do it. Um, they've gone through, they've approved the project, but I have no idea if I really can do it or how long it's going to take me. Um, I tend to go into the tutorials because I'll show you them. They give you a step by step on how to do stuff. Um, so if I wanted, for example, something on workflow. I would type that in and voila, we've got, they can, they will even teach you how to build the first workflow um, with SAP data intelligence. So you can go through each of these missions. And if you look at this, it's an easy step by step to follow. So here you go. You've got some free training going, going along. Also, if you're in a hurry and you need an estimate, you can quickly look at it and say, um, yeah, I can do this or no, this is going to take me a bit more time. So it's nice to have this for two different reasons. One, the training to your estimate. So it's a really cool place to stop in and look and see what's available. Um, so I'm going to go back to my links. So now we know what we're doing. We've given them an estimate. And now, of course, we're on our way to development. And I stopped at the developer's work center to go ahead and give you an idea for what kind of things are out there. Um, another of my favorite places to go to is the open SAP training. So that's cool. Um, now, I think I'm I'm honest, I think I went through my um, agenda. Let me look. Yep, training. So now you get some of my favorite places to go, which is really cool. Um, so you can go to the topics. And here I can easily pick what's, what I want to look at. I can either go um, ABAP 
development or say, I know it's a Fury app and I want it to extend or something similar like that, that I need um, the extensibility, I could go there. Um, so I'm gonna click about development and look at this. We've got all of our information in one place and easy to get to. This is so nice. I cannot even begin to explain how nice it is. So um, then here are some of my favorite things to do. Don't forget to look across the top because let me tell you, that's a lifesaver. Um, so that was the topics. Um, if you're in the middle of your project and you need to, you have a burning question and based upon that question you're going to hopefully get an answer back soon make sure i'm not going to pick on anyone um make sure that when you put the question in that um it's easily explainable you can take them step by step on how to recreate your issue or if it's a simple question just put that in but before you do any of that please search on google or um in the SAP community itself, because if it's something that's been asked many, many times, um, it doesn't make any sense to put it out there again. You're not going to need get a, get the answer any question to your question any sooner. In fact, it's going to be slower because you're going to have to wait for someone to take the time to reply. So I'm in the middle of my project. I don't know much about Fiori and I don't know 100% what I'm doing in workflow. I have a question, put the question out here, and sometimes it's a matter of minutes that you get the answer. This is where, oh my goodness, I have so many people that can help me out here. Um, the, I'll stop on a couple more events. Take a look at these. You're listening to a community call. Um, their code jams, SAP inside tracks are wonderful. Right now, most of them are virtual. So you can go to them free of charge and sit down and listen to some of the things that people are saying. Um, so here's a list of all the inside tracks. And if you don't see something there and you want it there, you can get in touch with basically, basically probably any champion. And if we have time, we can partner with you and we can get something out there on the schedule. Now, quick, I'm running out of time. <laughs> I knew I would. Um, resources, you've got all your resources. Mission and badges, um, these are fun because you get badges for basically just about anything you do out on um, the community. And I get excited when I get a new badge. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. Now, one of the things I wanted to highlight though um, is in the programs, there is Coffee Corner Discussions. Now, <laughs> if I'm having a rough day or if um, I'm having a good day and at the end of the day want to go here, um, there are all kinds of threads going on. Um, basically, some of them are great, <laughs> like a seminar for me and my dog. That sounds pretty cool. Um, some of them, you might find things that you've never known about, which is reusable ABAP. Um, what have you found? So you might contribute and you might also find some stuff out there. Um, so there are a lot of different discussions that are kind of fun. It's like the old fashioned water cooler discussions. Um, and you can start one too. In fact, we love it when you do because we can all go and talk with you about what you've put out there. Um, so for me, those are my favorite links. I've, I've of course got more and um, you can see a lot more in the slides, but I wanted to give a few minutes for questions in case I've been talking too much or too fast. If you have any questions, I can answer.
You can unmute your phone if you want and just speak up. That's I'll put amazing. it in the chat. <laughs> I don't see it, but Kaya does. No, at, at the moment, um, there's no question. Okay. Hey, even though I've been talking a mile a minute, I could go on for at least a day about all the things that are out there. It's, I, I mean, it, truly, it's, it's a great place to be to walk through um, the start of your projects to the end of your projects to everything in between. It's a lot of fun. So, Michelle, are you using um, the SAP community really like every day? Oh, yeah. You have it always open, always. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Um, I used to, <laughs> wish I had time now. I used to um, every morning go in and click blogs mm. um, and then just kind of slide through the blog posts for the day. And if I saw anything that I thought was cool, um, I'd click on it and read it. Um, and it may be something that has absolutely nothing to do with what I'm working on now, but in the future it might help or just something I want to learn about. Um, now, even though I don't have the time for it as much, um, I still have this open almost all day long. And if I don't, I, I do a Google search and mm -hmm. nine times out of 10, it takes me here. And if it doesn't, sometimes the old questions um the, if i go to i don't know how i want to put this if i go to another site they're not always quite as clear um on our sap community site it's it's pretty clear it's it's easy to use and even if a question isn't marked answered sometimes they're answered very well so um I tend to look for that when I have a question and I'm searching. Um, Marcel is having a question. So Marcel is asking, um, do you have any tip to get more visibility, visibility to opened questions? To open questions, sure. Um, I mean, Marcel, I hello Marcel. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your presentation. No problem. It was fun. Well, uh, my question is about visibility to open the questions. Uh, I heard for many people that sometimes I think it's dependent of the topic, or, uh, all right, that may have more time to be answered. So I used to recommend people to copy and paste the URL in another platform just to, to share this and uh, try to collect more, uh, let's say, more uh, contributors in, in or out SAP community. But I don't know if in SAP community we, we can have the, the features to add some uh, tags and additional things. And I'd like to know from your side if uh, you have any tip, any clue, just to let the, 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 the question more visible to, to be answered. You know, honestly, I haven't done that before, but I, I agree totally. I mean, why not put a link there? Put it out on Twitter or your, your network and see if you can't send them back here to answer it. So you, that way you get it answered, plus uh, it will help other people. I guarantee you if you have the question, somebody else does too. Yeah, maybe we, we can add something here uh, from the program side. Um, I mean, it's always um, how you ask the question, right? So um, um, if, you, if you ask a question, it is helpful if you um, outline what you have already done to find the answer. Yeah, so, um, and, and why the answer wasn't helpful. So for example, I was already searching in the questions and there are two answers, but they didn't help me because I have that special case. And um, yeah, sharing screenshots of your, of your problem, if you uh, have, a, if, uh, if you have screenshots. Um, and then the subject line is important so that it um, attracts uh, a, people yeah and it's it's an eye catching uh, subject line what your question is all about so a question like uh, uh, help for sap is could 
be everything, right? So um, that's not, not helpful. Um, yeah, and using, as Marcel, you said, uh, using the appropriate text um, that is necessary so that the right experts um, can find the question because usually what they do is um, to um, subscribe to tags. Um, so in the morning, like Michelle um, is opening um, the community, um, they are opening their activity stream and they see that there are new questions um, about or in their expertise area. Um, so the more details you provide, um, the more likely it is that other people are able to help you. Yeah. Yeah, and the other thing I do if, if um, usually when somebody answers my question, at a minimum, I try and answer some questions. Sometimes I just try and answer some questions. Um, I can put it in my related tag and say either no responses at all or no answers. I rarely pick without an accepted answer because so few people mark their their questions accepted. And if you would do that, that would make everybody very happy. Mm -hmm. And uh, voting, right? Also. Oh yeah. Um, and if if somebody hasn't marked something um, answered, you can um, upvote somebody's response and in that way they move up towards the top of the question list so say this actually is the answer and they just haven't marked it yet just click the upvote this totally has nothing to do with the question or it's a wrong answer make sure you click downvote on it but only click down vote on something you're pretty sure is wrong because, you know, like this one. Um, because otherwise, people answering questions may just plain stop if they um, think everybody hates their answers. <laughs> you know? And, and there's also a difference, um, right, between um, answering and commenting. Yes, there is. Um, so if you think you have the real answer on how to come up with a solution for their issue, you answer it. If you have, like, they've asked a question that is so hard to understand or there are pieces that you don't understand and you want it clarified, go ahead and comment. Cool. And do you know what happens if, if you um, see that someone is answering something, um, you know, intimidating or something um, with, with a spam link or something? Um, is, maybe you can explain if there is a possibility to report that? Yeah, there is. <laughs> there is a possibility to report that. <laughs> um, and I am not signed on. So um, what you would do is at the bottom here, there's an alert monitor. You just click that and explain why you're alerting them. Uh, it's pretty simple. I don't think it'll let me do it because I'm not signed on here. Yeah, I'm not signed on. Cool. Thank you, Michelle. That was helpful. <laughs> sure. And, you know, if, if this is the last thing I've got to say and the last thing to remember, if you are not a member of the SAP community, there is no reason why you shouldn't sign up. I mean, even if all you do is, and it sounds bad, but if all you do is consume information, that's great too. I mean, people like me who write stuff just love to see that anyone at all is, is looking at it. And I've always said, if I can help one person, then it was worth it. But um, it's fun to see all those views. So um, sign up and you can get all this fun stuff. You can get your badges. You can um, alert, things like that. So it's, it's free, no money, no nothing well worth doing. Very cool. Anything else to add? 
Or do we have to <laughs> do we have to talk about anything else? <laughs> I could add all day long. <laughs> Don't tell me that. <laughs> I just stopped on some of my favorite places. There are so many other places in here. It's if I spent the entire day and walked you through everything, it, it wouldn't be enough. And um, you should not forget to follow follow tags and uh, questions and topics, yeah, so that you're always up to date. What what are your um, your tags that you're following? I assume it's ABAP. Let me guess. <laughs> <Michelle>? <laughs> yeah, um, mine have ended up being um, quite a hodgepodge. I have rules set up in my mail to put them in different places, but um, I follow um, Fiore development quite a bit. And I'm not sure if that's a tag or not, but anyways, I figured out how to do it. ABAP development, anything ABAP wise, I follow. Um, and then anything Fiore, I follow. Um, hmm, yeah, any type of, <laughs> right now I, I've opened up a little bit. I do JavaScript too, so I'm open to that. But this, I'm not as confident with the stuff that I I'm just learning. So even though I follow it, I may not be commenting on it. And like I said, this, this month's been absolutely horrible. So I, I haven't been keeping up with much of anything. Yeah, and in your um, profile settings, you can, um, you can put check marks if you want to receive um, the updates only into your um, inbox, yeah? Or if you want to receive it um, even as email alert, right? Into your um, private email address. I hope that is correct what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> Oh, whoops. Account and settings. That was where you were at. There you go. There's all the checkboxes. Perfect. Yeah, and if I DM you, um, you um, we need to follow each other, right? So I can only I can only send you um, DMs if you follow me and I follow you. Right. Usually. That and actually that works out really well. So you don't have people, I don't know, that are selling spamming something. you. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> Sending you stuff. Yeah. Or they found out that you are an expert and then uh DMing you with the with the questions, right? Right. That's, that is not the purpose. Um exactly. Okay, uh, so Neil is writing, I'm also having my tags related everything, questions, blog posts, event announcements, etc. via email. It also keeps me um, stay up to date, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because then it's in your inbox, right? And um, if you have it in your um, community inbox, you have actively yeah, to, to go in there. Otherwise you um, receive it as email, yeah. Kati. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> Marcel. Uh, just, just a question. I heard many times ago, I don't know, if two or three years, that SAP community was going to uh, available a, a chat. There's a chat to, to discuss. I, I don't know if it's in some backlogs there, but I don't think it would be one more features that People has lots of chats around, such as WhatsApp, LinkedIn, and uh, Skype. But uh, I was wondering here, what, what about that uh, notification stuffs? Um, not not like this, but uh, 
the topic sharing we would it, I don't know what kind of a fort FCP community would have to uh, to let available and build and to share contents to WhatsApp or Skype. Do you understand? Because we, we can share blogs and questions to LinkedIn, Twitter, I think, and uh, this is the main Facebook anyway. And then uh, it would be great if you could have a way to share any contents to uh, uh, chat platforms. Mm -hmm. Do you think it would be useful? Because today, uh, people is, is as immediate as possible. People used mm -hmm. to, to, to want the, the quick questions in time. However, when people ask something in a chat like Skype that could reach 500 persons in a, in a group like that, the question and the answer uh, that, that get, uh, we miss that in a quickie of, uh, in, a, in a hurry of one or two minutes. And so I think uh, it's, a, uh, it's a way to, to, to waste the content. When we open, I used to recommend people that used to ask me questions in Skype, for example, or WhatsApp, to open a question in SAP community and provide me a link. Then mm. I can help that person and I can help everyone that can access that link through Google search of something like this. But it would be useful if every content of SAP community uh, also could be shared through some chat platforms. Then we could have this kind of resource. Mm. That's hard to answer because I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm, I'm not aware of that. I know that you can um, create groups uh, within the messaging system. So within the relay system, uh, messages.sap.com. Um, there you can um, uh, create group chats with, um, with other people, but I don't know how many, um, how many people are in these group chats, if it's only 10 or 1,000. I, I don't know, sorry, um, but I can find out. And sharing into other platforms, I'm also I, I also have to take this um, question offline, unless Cherry, my colleague, um, is also on the call. Um, and I, I don't want to put you on, on spot, but maybe you know uh, something about sharing in, in chats. Um, no, I'm sorry. I, I, I would okay. need to investigate as well, Connie. Yeah, okay. Because uh, uh, Cherry is a little bit longer in, in that community mm -hmm. area. So, um, sure. um, no. Uh, but we can we can check it and uh, find out more. Thank you for bringing be, this up. It would be the same result as copy URL and paste in some some chat of discussion. But, mm. but just to to let people aware about that because I as I mentioned it, I see people don't use this. People used to ask questions in chats and get answer or maybe get no answer and. Uh, those content get in the past and aged very bad and uh, we miss all the content, all the, the benefits of that question. So but there is, a, a, there is a, share, a share button um, in the uh, questions and answers, for example, like in, at every content, there is a share button. Um, so when you um, have a question or when you um, ask a question, you can, sh oops, a moment. Um, going into the Q&A just to, to check um, there. Yeah, there you can actually, yeah, you can share this RSS feed. Um, you can share the answers actually. It's, it's a copy and paste, yeah. It's, so you would need to copy and paste the um, content, the link. Yeah, let us great. check out. Okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you. We have the icon, the icon visible, right? The, the, for example, WhatsApp icon or Skype icon visible yeah. in any content would be, I, I, I think would be, uh, let's say, a, a new way to share this. 
Mm-hmm. By the way, it's not new because we, we can copy the URL. Maybe we, people exactly. start mm-hmm. getting using to share contents from community in, in, in groupings or texting groupings in mm-hmm. any other platform. Yeah. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. Good. So, any other questions or feedback? Otherwise, we can, or anything else you want to add, Michelle? No, um, I think you're we're good. We, oh, well, you know, the other thing I was thinking about as people were um, talking is there are, in fact, some community overview, I believe it is. Nope, it's not. <laughs> Under resources. Yeah, that's the resources page. Yep. There is a whole section in getting started. So that helps out a lot. Question and answers, blogging. I mean, it's telling you everything on this page if you have a question on it. And trust me, any of the champions will help you out. Um, The mentors are out there too, still, I think. Yeah, exactly. In uh, the champions, uh, we have, um, you can find all the champions. So if you, um, if you want to talk to someone in your area or in your language, right, um, mm-hmm. then we have a um, influencer finder. Um, it's called the influencer finder. Da-da-da. Let me copy and paste the link into, um, into the chat. And there you can filter by expertise or you can filter by um, by region, language, and so on. Um, here we go. So that's the Influencer Finder. And when you open that page, um, you can filter on the right side by SAP champions. So the champions are always the people that yeah, help you with community um, questions or community topics. Um, and um, you have also the SAP mentors here with a more um, technical focus um, towards um, SAP. Um, you can filter by the community moderators and uh, um, chat with the moderators. Yeah. It's amazing how much help you have out there if you need it. Not just you know for answering questions, but about how to use the community about possibilities. I mean, there must, there might be something in your mind and you can ask someone and maybe they'll help you out with it. Or you might have an idea for a really cool program and it's not there. So yeah, it's really cool. Um, There's a lot of people out there that will help. And it's not so impersonal, right? I mean, as you have, for example, the influencer list and you can see directly who are the people um, behind uh, exactly behind the scene um and and this is why we also recommend to put a picture into your profile so that people can uh, maybe identify you better um i've got two pictures <laughs> the only way i know the difference between my two profiles um <laughs> if you're like me and you have um an sap support id and you have just regular ID. I split them because of (laughs) issues I had while trying to keep my um, content out there. So this time around, I split them. So I have one community and one Mm. um, SAP support. And the only way for me to remember which one I'm on is I have a different picture. Mm -hmm. So if I'm in um, asking support questions or looking up, notes and then I pop over to the community because you have a button to do that. Um, I rem- it, it reminds me hours later that I still have my <laughs> SAP support one on and not my community one. And, and that's a very good point, Michelle, right? Um, because what, what happens if you are um, changing the company and you only have a company related profile? Um, what's happening then? Do you know that? 
I mean, I know. <laughs> I don't want to uh, test yeah. you. Yeah, <laughs> no, I have no idea. The last time I did it, there was absolutely nothing anyone could do exactly. except for to link to the old one. Yeah, that, and that's the thing. Um, so I, I would recommend a, a personal ID, so with your um, personal email address and not with your company email address. Because it's not possible to uh, to move over content, yeah, and your rep your reputation, yeah. If you have a reputation built up as Michelle Crapo at her company, um, mm. and then you are leaving the company, um, then you're leaving your, your reputation and uh, yeah. uh, blogs and everything. Uh, we had a question. Someone was raising their hand I was seeing with one, one eye. Who was that? Uh, it's Abhinath. Uh, Hi, Abhinath. <laughs> what is your question? My question is, uh, how universal ID will help me? See, if I'm using an S user ID, as you said, uh, I am shifting my company. So, yeah, yeah, universal ID, I am have tagged both the S user IDs. But uh, whatever uh, missions which I have completed at the previous company, will it flow back? No, you, mm -hmm. you, cannot, you cannot move them over. But what you can do is you can link your profile. So, you can link your, um, uh, let's say, old profile um, to your new profile. And what happens for people that uh, look into your um, into your actual page is then on the bottom they see a box with uh, with a linked um, profile. I don't know, Michelle, if you have this um, when you go on uh, on view view public. Yeah, go, can you go on view public profile on top? There you see down down down. No 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 no. It's on the yeah, right 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 the. Right, go right. Yeah, up, up. Yeah, there. <laughs> it's like that game. Hot, hot, cold, cold, cold. <laughs> and uh, when you scroll down, um, scroll, scroll down. There you see the linked um, profiles. Yeah. So. Um, okay. There. This linked profile, uh, universal ID. What it will do then? Um. You, I think you have to do that manually first with linking a uh, profile uh, in your um, profile settings. So when you go um, to that page here, uh, on the left side, there must be something like a link profile. There is a button for it and that you have to do manually so um, that the system knows um, that this person belongs um, to you. It's, it's under overview, I think. Uh, and now you're on the public, um, you're still on the I public know. version. No, I, I, didn't, I did it. I did the profile linking. Okay. Profile linking is done. I'm asking about universal ID. Mm. That's a good question. I have to, um, I have to investigate um, what, what the right okay. answer is here. Um, Amina, do you, um, can you please send me a direct message on that? Um, I think you're... you're yeah, yeah, there. I'll send, I'll send. Yeah, so that um, I can forward the, the question um, without um, reformulating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. It's, Thank it's you. kind of weird, too, because my email came across when it was suggesting I get a universal ID. that My ID couldn't be used for SAP support or something mm -hmm. like that. So I just never created one. I'm like, eh, I'm mm -hmm. going to stay away from that. Yeah, I can find out. Okay. If we don't have anything else. Then I think we are able to close for today. There you are. <laughs> Okay, so last chance, three, two, one. All right, thank you, Michelle. That was um, informative and uh, it, was, it was a nice uh, chat style. Um, I want to mention that we have these virtual tours um, similar um, to what Michelle um, was doing um, by other SAP champions every first and third 
Tuesday of a month. So you can already uh, mark this as a series in your calendar. Um, and it's a great possibility also to ask your questions live on uh, where to find what or um, how to handle a case in, in the SAP community. And I can already do a spoiler alarm, I think, a spoiler for the next call that is on um, 20th. That's the one, two, three, yeah. <laughs> the third Tuesday of a month is 20th. And I think it's Neil Paxson who is going to present. Please um, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and um, every champion will present a little bit different. So it's always different um, and always worth to join because um, every champion does have a, um, a different expertise and a different um, area um, to, um, um, to talk about, right? Um, and um, yeah, Neil will be the presenter. Neil, so we are looking forward to hear you then in two weeks. Um, thank you, everyone. And um, I wish you a wonderful time, a wonderful two weeks. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Thank everyone. You. I'm okay. closing. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.